Hello, Dean. How are you going? Roger. What's up? You've evicted him? Let me find out what's going on and I'll tell you what's going on. Are you worried now? Oh, I'm looking extremely worried. Right, what's happening? Um, and this is on the record. He's been evicted. I wrote to you last Friday and I have nothing further to add because now the matter's in the courts. Right. I, well, it's a legal matter. Right, taking him to court. No, no, I'm not taking him to court. Well, the Pilates group's taking him to court. Landlord's not taking him to court. Who's taking him to court? No one's taking him to court. But you said it's in the courts. I said it's a legal matter. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. We went to lunch and then we come back, we saw security guards here. Um, we didn't know what happened. Um, right. and, and then they wouldn't let us in. And, and, and we've since found out that the tenants and all of us have been, have been evicted and we can't get any of our personal belongings back. Last week, Darren Henderson was begging to be released from his lease from what is arguably Adelaide's hell hotel. And all the roofs are shot, rusted out, and have been leaking into rooms. All needs replacing. Um, as we've gone on, I've had to, I can't put people in some of the rooms. Uh, Rodney, this is another example of, of, of a water leak. Um, right. Uh, the flashing's gone, and the roof's rusted out. Right. So it leaks down here, and this is where we've had many instances where uh, people have slipped over and slipped down the stairs. Described on TripAdvisor as a crack den, and worse, he says the Adelaide Motel and Backpackers, owned by the Pilates Group, in the Prince's Arcade on Hindley Street was a millstone round his neck and had sent him to the wall. Why don't you just walk away? Well, if I walk away, look, the plies will bankrupt me. And to be fair, there is blame on both sides. Reviews point to poor service, poor hygiene, as well as the state of repair of the building. They're saying it's a legal matter. Yes. Do you think they're going to bankrupt you? Oh, more than likely. And yesterday, Darren got his wish and was released from the lease but not as he had hoped. Pistol packing armed guards were called in. Somewhat of a contradiction to the working with the tenant statement we got from the Pilates group last week. Even the police showed up. Last week when I spoke to you, you wanted out of this. Is this what the result you wanted? You looks like you're out of your lease. Yeah, I mean, I'm out of a lease, it's not the result. I mean, like I wanted to negotiate some sort of deal with Pilates. I thought that's the best way to tackle it. Um, are them a victim is not the, way, yeah, yeah, the right way. I guess we could have negotiated something with, uh, with the new tenant that they told me that they had, but where's the new tenant, I don't know. Along with Darren, a number of semi-permanent residents have been evicted as well. Locked inside all their belongings. Where do you go? Well, I don't go anywhere. I mean, basically, look, they've kicked us out of our home, um, of where we were. Um, very unfair what they've done. So here's the tricky part, Dim. <laughs> is there's a whole stack of tenants in there. You know, all their stuff's in there. All these guys over here. It's all what, been dealt with. What? What? How's so it been it's dealt with? It's all been dealt with in the to the law. Well, what's that mean? Well, as I said, it's a legal matter and it's been dealt with. Dim Georgiadis is the Pilates Group solicitor. What's this? That's an inventory of matters. Right, so if anything goes missing, then you go him for stealing. You signed him up to the lease. Do you reckon the lease was fair? Five years ago? No comment. Because an independent valuation basically says what he was being charged to rent this place was twice what it was worth. No comment. What do you think about the safety of the place? No comment. He says it's a death trap. What do you think? No comment. What's going to happen to it now? No comment. Why not? Because I don't make comments. This is Roger White, another Pilates group representative. Bear with me. He does make a comment. Well, what's going to happen now? Can he get back in and get his stuff out? No. You've thrown him out on the street? No. What have you done then? We've just stayed on the property. Right. Okay. We just, we've given him his notice. He's, he's got to fill out what he owns, his personal property, get him signed, signed by a JP, ring the landlord, make a time to come back in, in business hours tomorrow. And he'll be able to get his stuff back? Why did the Pilates group finally make this move? Well, because Darren called us. We tried to work it out, you went to the media, but you know, that's, you're entitled to do that. I guess that's the way life is, man, so, yeah. So, what now? We understand the Pilates group intends to gut the building and refurbish it. About time. As for Darren, well, he's destitute, left with nothing but the clothes on his back. And of course, an unpaid rent bill of $35,000 which he can't pay. Are you going to chase him for this back unpaid rent? No comment. Where are you going to sleep tonight? Oh, I'll probably sleep on the street or, yeah, yeah, in the front of Pilates' office.